This is going to be a video on the Samsung MK10 Professional Microphone Stand. Costing under $20, these won't break the bank and the stand is well worth it. If you're tired of slouching over to record your audio or have a hard time with your mic positioning, this is the perfect solution. If you make YouTube videos or do audio recordings, this will help immensely. The Samsung MK10 Professional Microphone Stand is only 26 inches tall folded up and it's only 3.5 inches wide. The boom is threaded at the end and is a 5 8 of an inch adapter. It will accept most shock mounts and microphones. However, heavier microphones and shock mounts may require weight to be added at the base to the stand for stability. The microphone stand was ordered from Amazon and it came in a sturdy cardboard box with paper padding that protected the microphone stand itself. There were no instructions included inside the box. However, this isn't an issue because you can go to Samsung's website directly and view or download the manual and look at the instructions. Setting this up is self-explanatory and easily set up without directions. I will be going over the setup in this video. One thing that isn't mentioned in the instructions or on their website is the cord clip seen here highlighted by the blue arrow. This clip allows you to route your microphone cord through the clip and run it down the microphone stand helping to prevent a tripping hazard. The other thing the microphone stand comes with, highlighted by the red arrow, is a dynamic microphone clip that can easily be threaded onto the boom extension, which I will also be going over later on in the video. The other thing that is not mentioned is the second additional cord clip at the base of the stand, highlighted by the white arrow. Again, this additional cord clip helps to keep your cord next to the stand instead of just hanging anywhere, just waiting to get caught on something. Setting up the microphone stand is relatively easy. All you have to do is stand it up as seen here and extend the three support legs. The three support legs will move into place tightly against the main support on the microphone. After the three support legs are positioned, you want to unlock the release lever to lower the support legs to the base of the stand as seen here highlighted by the red arrow. Once the legs are down at the base of the stand, you want to lock it back into place as seen by the blue arrow. The next thing is to loosen the bottom extension as seen here highlighted by the blue arrow. This allows the boom extension to slide and turn so the microphone can be threaded easily. The next thing is to adjust the angle of the boom extension by loosening it, as seen here. To loosen it, turn it counterclockwise. Once you have the desired angle, tighten it back down. Having it in the horizontal position makes it easier to install your microphone. Now you're ready to add your microphone. In this example, a shock mount by Samsung is being used. To do this, you're going to rotate your boom extension clockwise to thread it onto the shock mount. As you tighten the boom extension to the shock mount, you will notice the black lock ring as seen here. Tighten this to ensure that the mount is secured and it won't move. Once your microphone and shock mount are tightened, you can change the position or the angle of your microphone as seen here. When you have the proper angle set up, you can adjust your boom extension and then tighten it on the other side once you have achieved the proper height. If you use a dynamic microphone, you can use the adapter that comes included with a microphone stand. This clip is threaded and will attach onto the end of the boom extension. This is easily removed and just pries off. Once you have removed the microphone clip from the stand, it can be threaded the same way as a shock mount. You can thread this on by turning the boom extension clockwise, or you can thread it onto the boom extension by hand. As shown earlier in the video, you want to tighten the black locking ring so that it is tight against the microphone clip. The next thing to do is to adjust your boom height. To do this, just tighten it down as seen here. Without extending the boom, it measures roughly 28 inches from the floor. This is good height if you're sitting on the floor using your microphone. Fully extended, the microphone stand is roughly 46 and a half inches from the floor. In this video, a CO1U condenser microphone with an SPO4 shock mount was used. Both of these are made by Samsung. These two combined are very heavy and the stand can accommodate these with no problem. If you have a microphone or microphone shock mount combination that is heavy, 
you may want to consider using some weights at the base of your stand to help with stability. For this video, the microphone was angled at 45 degrees and extended out to roughly 5 feet or 60 inches. This put the microphone at about mouth level for a 6 foot person. This stand easily handled the weight with no tipping issues at all. One thing that is nice about this microphone stand that wasn't listed on the box or on the website as stated earlier was the microphone cord clip as seen here. As stated before, this is a nice feature as it keeps everything looking organized and the cords out of the way. The other cord clip that was shown earlier is clipped to the stand and it helps even more with the organization. This is removable and can be positioned anywhere on the bottom of the stand. This stand can also be used to hold camcorders, audio recorders, or cameras for shooting video. However, you will have to purchase an adapter as seen here that has a quarter 20 thread. If you are interested in purchasing this microphone stand or the quarter 20 adapter, the link is provided in the description down below and also in the video. By clicking on the links in the description, you will be supporting our channel and allow us to bring you more reviews and more content. This is the end of the video review for the Samsung NK10 microphone stand. As always, we encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. If you're a first time visitor, be sure to check out our other videos that we have. We have videos on many subjects including preserving food, automotive videos, electronics, pet care, gardening, and a lot more. As always, we welcome any comments or suggestions. Thank you for watching and visiting our channel.